The Book of 1 Samuel, chapter 17, from verses 45 to 50, tells us about the incredible story of David. David was a shepherd boy who loved to spend his days taking care of his father's sheep. He was brave and had a heart full of faith. One day, David's father called him and said, David, I want you to take some food to your brothers who are fighting in the army. They need encouragement and support. David agreed and set off on a journey to find his brothers. When David arrived at the battlefield, he saw a great problem. The mighty Philistine army had a giant warrior named Goliath. Goliath was tall and strong, and he challenged the Israelite army every day. He wanted to fight their best warrior, and whoever lost would become slaves to the other side. David's brothers and all the other soldiers were filled with fear. They couldn't find the courage to face Goliath, and they were focused on the problem they were facing. But David was different. Instead of letting the problem overwhelm him, he shifted his focus away from the giant and focused on God. David said to King Saul, Don't worry, your majesty. I will go and fight this Philistine. Saul was surprised by David's confidence but allowed him to face Goliath. David didn't wear heavy armor or carry a big sword. Instead, he took his sling and gathered five smooth stones from a nearby stream. As David stepped onto the battlefield, Goliath laughed and mocked him. But David didn't let those words discourage him. He boldly declared, You come to me with a sword and spear, but I come to you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel. With unwavering faith, David slung one of the stones at Goliath, hitting him right in the forehead. The giant fell to the ground, defeated. The entire Philistine army was astonished. David's trust in God and his faith had brought him victory. This story teaches us that when we face problems, we should shift our focus away from them and place our trust in God. Just like David, we can find strength and blessings when we put our faith in God. It's time to shift your focus away from the problems that surround you and fix your gaze upon the Almighty God. Let us bow our heads in prayer as we seek the divine wisdom of our Heavenly Father. O oh, gracious Lord, I thank you for this moment of revelation. I pray that as I speak, your Spirit will quicken within the hearts of every listener, granting them profound understanding. May your word illuminate their path, bringing healing, deliverance and freedom from every affliction and challenge. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus the Christ I humbly pray. Amen. Problems my friends, have become a pandemic in our lives, an inescapable part of our existence as human beings. Even the sacred scriptures make it clear that a life free from problems is not guaranteed. However, what the Bible does assure us is that if we remain steadfast in our faith, trusting in God as our ultimate rescuer, He will deliver us in due time. In the Gospel of John chapter 16, verse 33, the words of our Savior Jesus Christ, resonate with profound truth. He declares, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Do you see dear ones? God does not promise us a trouble-free existence, but He urges us to find solace and tranquility in Him, knowing that He will rescue us from the depths of our trials. Let me bring to your attention a passage from the book of Isaiah chapter 43, from verses 1 to 3. But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you, I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you, when you walk through fire you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as your ransom, Cush and Seba in exchange for you. See, 
My friends, God does not promise to shield us from the storms of life. Instead, He assures us of His unwavering companionship and His mighty hand to ensure that we are not consumed by our problems. These trials we face are but temporary tests, meant to refine us and strengthen our faith. When faced with adversity my beloved, it is crucial that we shift our attention away from the problems themselves. The easiest way to break free from the clutches of our trials is to redirect our focus towards the immeasurable power and ability of God to deliver us. Fix your gaze upon the solution you desire, not the problems that plague you. Furthermore, let me impart to you a powerful truth, do not dwell upon what you do not desire or what you do not want. For our minds are like magnets, attracting that which we constantly think about and that which we allow to fill our thoughts. Problems are an integral part of life, and we cannot wish them away with a mere wave of our hand. Focusing on these problems will not solve them or lead us out of the darkness, rather, it will complicate matters further, adding fuel to the fire. Instead, if there is anything worth focusing on during times of trouble, it is the solution and the pathway to liberation. Dwell upon the wisdom and might of God, for His Word commands us not to be anxious but to bring our concerns before Him in prayer. In the book of Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 to 9, the Apostle Paul guides us. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things, and the God of peace will be with you. Therefore I implore you, dear children of God, to cease your fixation on the seemingly endless problems that engulf your life. Instead, shift your focus towards the Almighty God and the wondrous solutions He can provide. Fix your thoughts on the potential good and positive outcomes that can emerge from seemingly insurmountable difficulties. Seek the blessings that lie hidden within your challenges. Behind every challenge, there is a great opportunity. Every trial carries within it a hidden treasure. Remember my friends, that every problem allowed by God in the life of a believer is meant to elevate us, not to annihilate us. Every difficulty is an opportunity for divine blessings, not a curse upon our lives. They are designed to promote our growth and refine our character, not to demote us or bring us to ruin. And that my dear brothers and sisters, is why we must redirect our focus from the immediate problems and fix our gaze upon the promised outcome. As we delve into the profound words of Romans chapter 8, verse 28, we uncover a powerful truth. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to His purpose. Do you see beloved? Every single thing in our lives, even the troubles that plague us, works together for our ultimate good. Hallelujah! Glory be to God! So why waste precious moments fixating on the problems that surround us when we can direct our attention to how these inevitable circumstances can be utilized for our own benefit? As I unite my prayers with yours today, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every hindrance, every distraction, Every obstacle that has delayed, distorted, aborted, elongated or destroyed the manifestation of God's promises in your life, I command a reversal of all negativity and bad energy that stands against the glorious manifestation of every individual listening to my voice. In the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I implore you to restore to each listener and viewer what the swarming locusts have devoured, according to the promise you made in Joel chapter 2, verses 25 to 27. I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the hopper, the destroyer, and the cutter, my great army, 
which I sent among you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never again be put to shame. You shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God and there is none else. And my people shall never again be put to shame. Lord, I pray that this restoration may be experienced by every individual under the sound of my voice, in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ, our Messiah and Savior. Amen. Thank you Heavenly Father, for hearing our prayers and answering them according to your perfect will. In the precious name of Jesus, we seal this prayer. Amen. We are grateful for your participation with us today. We encourage you to share your personal testimonies of how faith has impacted your life or the lives of those around you. Your stories have the power to uplift and inspire fellow believers. Feel free to leave your experiences in the comments section below. And if you found this video to be a blessing, we kindly ask you to share it with someone special. Your support is greatly appreciated. May the blessings and favor of the Lord be upon you abundantly. Until we meet again, may your faith continue to soar. God bless you all.